Hello? Are you there? Hello? Who's on? Are you there? Hi! Okay, let me see. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to jump on. Say hi if you get on. Well, somebody jumped on. Oop. Hi, Mandy. How are you? Hi, Kelly. Well, I see Kelly's on, and I see Mandy's on. So, anyway, okay, so, I wanted to start, hi Hannah, okay, I wanted to jump on and talk to you guys because there is, I think a lot of people were not really sure what was going on with our um, Go For No challenge yesterday and today, so let me explain a little bit of why. Um, I wanted to do that because a lot of times it's really hard for us to get out of our comfort zones because we're afraid of the word no. And you cannot be in this business and be afraid of no because it's, it's going to happen, right? I mean, I think the best example I have from one of the trainers about recruiting especially is that when someone offers you a cup of coffee or you know a waitress or something you don't they don't get offended if you say no I'm not gonna have another cup and so you have to remember that in this business a lot of times it's like that when you offer someone the, an opportunity it's not necessarily no I never want to join your team you're a horrible hateful person never contact me again it's more of a no, not right now. Right now, life is too crazy. But they don't explain that. And so a lot of times, all we heard is no. And we're thinking, oh my God, they never want to talk to us again. It's not like that. It's not that serious. It's just business. And right now in their life, it doesn't make business sense to do that. And so it's okay. You have people who will ignore you. But here's the funny part about that. You will have people who you thought ignored you, who thought they answered you, and a month later they go, oh my God, like, I thought I hit send, and I totally didn't. And so it's not necessarily that they have no interest, it's that their life may have been totally crazy at that moment, and they just didn't get back to you, or they thought they got back to you. Am I back now? Good. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Okay. So try to remember to keep this in perspective. You are trying to fill your calendar because you want your business to grow. You want to be able to get yourself out there and make the connections and grow your network so that you can get this going really well. Okay. I need you guys to remember that what you do over the next 90 days is going to be so important to your business because it's going to affect the 90 days after that, okay? So give this a huge push because if you have goals, for all of you who've told me you want to hit Premiere, I have to say this is what you need to do for the next 90 days. You need to push your business right now so that you have the bookings in place. Because if you don't get the bookings in place, then you won't be able to get where you want to go. Okay? That 90-day cycle is very, very important. For leaders and for those who've been around a while, let me help you out here. 
It doesn't matter how long you've been there. Whether you are premier, silver, gold, platinum, it doesn't matter. You are constantly having to reboot your business in those cycles. So we all have to do it. I have to do it all the time. Your VIP page, yeah, you have VIPs now and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm set. No, there's no such thing. Okay? I have quite a few VIPs who've been with me for years. But the point is, if I'm not actively going out there and finding more by putting myself out there and meeting new people, then my VIP page will eventually die because no one will bother to participate. Nobody will bother to interact. A lot of times people aren't even seeing those posts. So it's really important to keep putting yourself out there. I was really excited. Um... I got a wild hair a few weeks ago, you guys know, and I did some bags for the neighborhood. Well, one of the ladies who w called right away, actually, she happened to just be walking in through the bank when my husband dropped off the bag, and she was like, oh, can I have one? Well, she just booked a party, so I have to get that ready in a minute. But the point is, you never know who you're going to meet. If things on your team seem a little dead, don't worry about it. All you need to do is start working on building your business again, working on recruiting, working on growing your customer base, working on making sure that your business is constantly growing. If it's not growing, it's dying. And that is the real deal. Every single month, sit down, take a look. Is it growing? You should be growing at least 10 to 15% every single month. If it's not growing, it's dying. Good. For new people, hi, how are you? I'm very happy you're here, and we are so excited to help you guys launch your businesses. So, please, 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 ask us a million questions. We love questions. I promise you're not bothering us. We will help however we can. Uh, invite us to your launch parties. We will help answer questions, comment, whatever you need us to do. If you need to brainstorm, message us. We are very good at that. You need a plan? We can do a plan. Whatever you need, do not hesitate to ask. We will help because we are all in this together. We remember what it was like to be new, so don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry about it. There's, there's no dumb questions. We will absolutely answer them, and we will help you get through it. Please plug into the new pod groups because the pods are going to be a really good way for you guys to be able to help each other. Because if you've got that question, somebody else does. Okay? So ask the question in your pods because that way... It helps everybody at the same time, okay? You never know who is too shy to ask, and they've been thinking of the same question, and they just haven't been able to put those words together. Go ahead. Post in the pods. That's what they're there for, and you have great leaders. I'm in there also, so I will be helping with them, and, you know, ask them. Pick their brains. Protégés, oh my gosh, you have amazing leaders. Katie Berger and Amanda are fantastic. They are the queens of the small team. You want to pick their brains. You know, Pinkston Pink Plus Ones. You want to talk to Christine and Misty because those girls are fantastic. They have built teams and they are really, really good at what they do. Pink Plus Ones, if y'all don't know Jennifer by now, I don't know where you've been, but just go ahead. Just, just pick her brain because... It, it need you need to, you need to, okay? We will get you where you want to go. You just have to, one, decide where you want to go, okay? Make a plan, and the last step, do it. Yeah, okay. It's the doing it part that seems to be the problem for a lot of people. Do not be afraid. Do not allow fear to be the thing that stops you from hitting your goals. And I don't care what happens. Listen, last year, my daughter was diagnosed with diabetes, and from the hospital, we still poshed. 
okay? Why? Because ultimately, life doesn't stop. The business still needs to grow. So we're keep going. Why? Because the goal is platinum, right? Everybody wants to get to platinum. I mean, right now I know Premier seems like a huge thing, but everybody wants to get to platinum, right? Yes? No? Everybody working towards platinum eventually? I hear, I see nobody commenting. Hi, are we here? Are we all working so that we can get to platinum one day and retire? Yes? Uh-huh. Okay, good. <laughs> good. So, trust me when I tell you, life will throw so much at you, and it's okay. And sometimes you have to take some time, yes, but you get back out there. You pick your business up, you dust it all off, and you say, cool, let's do this again. Don't ever stop moving forward, okay? I'm here to help, okay? You need to take some time, message me. I can help. Okay, we can make work on a plan so that things don't fall apart just because you need a little time. This is not how this is going to go. We are here to do this together and we're going to get there together. What's our motto? We shine together. We mean that. We shine together. So we are going to do this together. And where you may not be strong, others are. And we are going to work it out. So anything you need help with, message us. Talk to us. Let us find a way to help you. Okay? All right, I'm done. I will come and I will answer questions. If there's something specific you would like training on, please comment so that we know. Um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of training on our YouTube channel. Please utilize our YouTube channel. We are going to try and get more content out there for you. So please let us know what we're missing so that we can get it there for you. Um, there's also a ton of training by Platinums and Golds and just about everything under the sun that you can also find on YouTube. Please utilize those resources because they have, some of them are fantastic. Okay? Uh, if you find one you like, share it with the team because if you, if you found it inspiring, trust me, somebody else will too. So, Find ways to build yourself and help to build those under you. Because believe me, the things that you do are going to be the things you, the others under you are going to need to learn to do too. So trust me, keep sharing with them and keep building with your customers, okay? I need you guys to really be working on widening your circles, Get out of your comfort zone. This no challenge, a lot of it had to do with pushing your comfort zones. I know. I get it. And that's why we're going to pick winners today. Okay? Three winners. Okay? I want to see how many no's you can get. Because trust me, you are planting seeds. And you don't realize it yet, but you are planting seeds. And if you keep at it, and you keep doing your business, okay you will find that suddenly you're getting messaged by people going, oh, by the way, I want to sign up for your team. You didn't even know they were thinking about it. They never even asked for a sample, but they suddenly want to join your team. And you're like, how crazy is that? Trust me when I tell you, keep going. Keep doing. Keep offering. You'll catch the replay, Tina. <laughs> Okay, just keep going. And remember something. I know a lot of people talk about not sharing on Facebook because they want they don't want to be salesy, blah blah blah. Here's what I have to say to that quickly. All right, one, I totally agree. Please don't share stock photos on your Facebook page like all the time. For real. Don't do that. Because I don't have a clue. Hi, Crystalina. Okay, um, <laughs> um, if you're sharing stock photos and that's all you ever share on Facebook, nobody's going to buy from you. Okay, nobody's going to buy from you. They did not open Facebook so that they can see an ad. That's why I have ad block on my Facebook, so that I don't have to see ads. 
So if your page becomes nothing but one long ad, I'm probably going to unfollow you. And I completely understand that. So here's what I need you to do. One, keep it personal. You know how you like to post pictures of your kids, your food, your dog? Cool. In every single one of those pictures, I want you to stick a little posh in it. It doesn't have to be the focus of the picture. Completely not the focus. Are you taking a selfie today? Are you wearing a posh shirt? Please do. Or a posh hat? Or a posh pen? Or are you having a cup of coffee? Where's your posh mug? Keep posh as a focal point in the background of whatever you're doing. Because a lot of times people interact with a brand and they haven't yet registered it. According to Anne, it takes 11 interactions before someone will actually start to recognize it. I go to events and it's really funny to me because I meet people who say stuff like, Oh, I think I've seen that on Facebook. But the person who they may have seen it from didn't bother to interact or didn't bother to pursue it. And so here I, I meet these people who suddenly are starting to recognize it and they suddenly are becoming my customers because I bothered to talk to them about it. I bothered to explain. I bothered to introduce it and get product on them. Keep branding yourself everywhere you go in everything you do. We even have posh t-shirts for kids. So allow that to be part of what you do. Let it become part of who your family is. My husband, everybody knows he's posh. And he works at Walmart, okay? Uh, his CSM came to him. She's not one of my customers, by the way. Okay, so she has another consultant. And she comes and she goes, your wife's in the catalog. And he was like, uh, yeah. Because it had not occurred to him, since she's not one of my customers, that she would even know who I was. But get yourself out there. Put yourself out there. If people start to associate you with Posh, then the next time they see it, they'll come back to you because you've already planted the seed. So offer it to them. Even if they say no today, doesn't matter because once they keep seeing it, they will absolutely come back to you the next time they start to recognize it. You want to make sure they associate you and the brand together. Yvonne. So, see, it, it really is just one of those things. You just have to keep going. And one of the reasons why a lot of people will ignore you, by the way, especially if you're new, um, is because they're waiting to see. They want to see if you truly love this product. Because it's easy to love something when you first get it. But how long will you stick with it? Will you actually keep using it? People want to see. They want to see what are your results? Are you still passionate in a month? Are you still passionate in six months? A year later, are you still using it? They want to know, is this really something I want to get invested into? Or are you going to change your mind next month? And then it's going to be something new. Because then I've wasted my time investing into this and you're over it. So try and remember that, especially if you've done other direct sales in the past, you also have to kind of keep that in mind. It's always, uh, it's always a tricky balance trying to work that out. You know, um, people will always kind of be shyer if you're starting something new because you've been in something before. So, you have to just kind of bear in that mind. Um, for me, I didn't go into Posh n with a warm market, so I didn't really have to deal with that. And one of the reasons I didn't is because I knew flat out I didn't have it. I mean, y'all know. My mom flat out said, I can't support you with that. So I knew that there wasn't really anyone. I mean, what, two and a half years later, I still can't talk my sister into a party. And she works at a bank. 
okay? So, it's just kind of one of those things where you have to know what you have. If that's if you've got a great warm market and you're like super social and you're like always seeing people and stuff like that, fantastic. You are going to be able to do this a lot easier than a lot of us. But if you're not and you don't get out a whole lot, then you have to actively seek out creating your own market. For me, that meant Facebook. I had to figure out what my interests were. I farm, so homesteading. Um, we are pretty crunchy because we home birth, so crunchy moms. Um, we're Catholic, Catholic moms. We are also... Um, Goodness, I have to think. I'm a mom of many. So you have like all these other things where all of a sudden I thought, oh, okay, well, there must be other people who have similar interests. And so I started looking for the groups of people who had similar interests. And in finding those groups and in joining those groups and making those friends, because, I mean, those are topics that you can speak about and interact with people about and get to know people. I didn't really know a lot of people. So in getting to know people, it's a matter of sometimes things come up and you go, oh, you should try this. You know, you'll always have that mom. As, oh, yeah, homeschooling. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, um, if you will always have that mom, especially in a mom group that will have, oh, oh, um, will post that post about, oh, right. My kid has diaper rash. What do I do? That's actually how I met Jessica Powell. She used to be a consultant. And it was one of those things. Her kid had the worst diaper rash. And um, I sent her a healer. Healer in a tin at the time. And it worked fantastic. And she was like, oh my God, I have to, I have to do this. But, you know, life got in the way. And she had other things. Because she was training to be a, um, a hairdresser at the time. You know, and so she's now uh, moved on. But the point is, that's a lot of... A lot of times, you will introduce people to a product just in your natural uh, conversation. You have someone who's like, their kids really wound up, or they never sleep. Trust me, the sleepy stick will come up, okay? When I do events, I love events. There's no such thing as a bad event. Nope. No, hold on. There is. We call that the Medford Show, but don't worry about that. We'll talk about that another time. <laughs> um, most events are not bad events as long as you network okay that means even if five people show up you make sure you talk to all five people and not just talk to all five people but talk to the vendors because they will tell you where the next shows are so you can find better shows that way that is always always important and it's worth its weight in gold okay um, always remember, if there's an opportunity to rebook a show, and it's been a pretty decent show, do it. Because if that show is still fairly new, it's building a customer base, and so you will grow with that show. I have a, uh, I have a school, at, um, an event I do at an elementary school, and it started off very, very slow, because again, not a lot of people knew about it, okay? And... Last year, I was so blown away by how huge the show had gotten. I was like, oh my gosh. But I've been doing it for, you know, uh, they do it twice a year. So now it's been, this is going to be the fifth time I do it. So people have gotten used to it and they're like, oh, okay, cool. They're coming to shop now, you know. So don't be afraid to grow with the show, especially if it's advertised well and the people are actively working on, you know, making it better and improving and stuff like that. I have shows that I don't pay for until I show up that day. Why? Because I've been to that show so often that they know that I'm going to be there. And so therefore, it doesn't matter if another posh rep asks about it. They know I'm coming and so therefore I pay that day and so it's no big deal. You know, I have other people who will message me and be like, Hey, you're coming, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Just making sure. And so... You will get that rapport with, you know, um, people who are doing events. And you will eventually get to the point where you pick and choose which shows you do. And if there are shows that you 
you know, have an opportunity to do, but you're double booked or something, if you have downline in your area, pass the show on so that you are able to keep it within your team. And so therefore your team and the people new under you have the benefit of being able to start in with a good show. You know, it's important to teach, always teach. And so be willing to do that if you have the opportunity. Um, if you have not done your why video, please do your why video. Trust me when I tell you, you have no idea how powerful your story is. And until you get it out there, no one's going to know it. So tell it. Tell it. Tell it. Tell it till you're sick of telling it. Because it's going to change. It's going to change. Every single time you start moving in this company, you will find that your why changes. You may have started off thinking, I just wanted the product. And somewhere along the line, it becomes, but I really want to help the women on my team to fulfill their dreams. Because, trust me, you get there and you get in there and you see how many people can be helped and how many people it's been helping. And you just want to be the person to help them get there. You know, I saw Brittany's smiling face in Atlanta yesterday and I could have cried because it meant the world to me that she was out there and she made friends and she just, I mean, she had a great... <laughs> Sorry, phone fell. Oops. Yeah, she had a great time. Okay, so please, if you have the opportunity to do an, a go to an event, a posh event, go. I don't care if you're the only person going that you know. You will meet people. You will meet people and they will love you and they will be friendly and you will have a blast because your posh sisters, even if they're not on your team, are always going to have a bond with you that you're not going to have with anybody else. So have fun. I want to see a ton of y'all in OnCon. Seriously. I want, if you are in an area that has other consultants, carpool it. Let's carpool and we're going to pack those hotel rooms and have a blast. Come and let's go and have fun. Take the days off. Your kids will not die and neither will your husband. Let him take some time off of work. Because you need the vacation. Hi, Kelly. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Take that time. Find a way to get that time. Because trust me when I tell you, the training you get at OnCon is unlike anything else. It just, it is, it's so different life. It is. It really is so different life. And you want to be able to have it live. Okay? You want to be able to go talk to the Platinums and the Pinnacles and talk to them and see how they do what you... Uh, how they did what they've done and got, gotten here. You want to talk to those ladies. You want to meet Anne. Anne is amazing and friendly and she loves to meet y'all. It's one ninety nine, Kelly. Okay? So go. Go and meet people and connect with people. Because I'm not going to be necessarily the way you need things to be done. And it's okay. I, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm not going to be able to help everybody. That's, that's the reality. Because I suck at home parties. But guess who doesn't? Jennifer Forbes. Darling Sheets, they don't suck. They're awesome. It's in Salt Lake, Kelly. Okay? They are amazing. Pick their brains. Utilize those resources. There isn't a single platinum who will not help you. And they don't care that you're not on their team. They won't even know the difference, trust me. Because they've got thousands of people in their downline. So, you could be on their team. They don't know. It won't matter. Because they're willing to help anybody and everybody. Because they want to help you get there. Okay? People who rock at events. Jesse Condor. Um, Sarah Lucas. Terry Berry. Those people are event rock stars. Michelle Boyd. Rock stars. 
you need to talk recruiting and you seriously need someone who is like fantastic, talk to Jamie Benson. She's the Instagram queen. Or even better, Jessica, she goes by Jessica Posh on, on YouTube. She's fantastic. Okay, those are our top recruiters in our, comp uh, our entire company. Talk to those ladies. See what they're doing. Figure out if that fits your style. Do not imitate. Just find a way to use the things, the tips and tricks that they give you so that it fits your personality. Because people want real, ultimately. So be real. Okay? Now, I will say, one of the things you're going to want to do is make sure to keep drama off your Facebook, okay? I am very particular about what I post. Most of the stuff I post is very light, um, and that's, that is done with intention. Because you don't want to alienate your customers, potential customers, potential recruits, anybody. Does that mean stop being real? No. But just because you think it does not mean it needs to be said, on Facebook. Does it mean you'll never say it? Nope. Just means you probably won't post it on Facebook. Because you can have that conversation with somebody else, and that's fine. Okay? But having that argument on Facebook, not so cool. Not so cool at all. Especially if it turns into a heated argument on your profile. Not cool. Okay? You don't want that to be the thing that stops you from getting a customer. So be mindful of that, okay? Uh, again, I can't tell you what to post. It is your profile. You are free to post whatever you want. Those are my two cents. Okay, I'm actually going to get off now. As you can tell, I'm kind of a talker and I'm kind of ADD. So, yeah. Okay, I got to make a basket. Talk to y'all later. Post questions and um, tell me what y'all need. Bye-bye.